Hey y'all, let's check out what I'm on. Hey y'all, so today we're looking around Wild Moon Community. Um, if you guys are new here, welcome. I am Shy in Second Life. And on this channel, I check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life. And I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. If you guys are interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. Those flowers are super cute. So you guys, we are inching closer and closer to the 500 subscriber milestone. I am so proud of us, you guys. Definitely could not have done it without you guys. It's been such a beautiful journey these last couple of months, just kind of experiencing everything with you guys and i'm so grateful and so very thankful i keep telling myself go ahead and put the poll up those are my intentions you know but you know a little side note um any guys watching this right now cover your ears for a couple minutes when i tell you i feel like the the way that hold on i want to get close on these tomatoes the way that my cycle really just takes everything out of me it really should be studied i i go into such a dark space when i'm on my cycle it is so just very unnerving um i get very very down on myself i feel like i'm not doing enough i feel like i'm just kind of letting myself down letting you guys down letting everybody down and it's like you could be doing more but you're not doing more and why are you only on one platform you should be on multiple social media platforms and get over this and get over that and still do it like and i'm just it's such a horrible feeling i love this little like vegetable area and so i just found myself on this forever emotional roller coaster um, when I'm on my cycle and this shit is for the birds. I have a very strong dislike for it. I want to say I hate it, but I just, I really don't reserve any space in my life for, um, hate. Nobody or nothing is important for enough for me to exert any amount of energy or emotion, um, to hate them or it. So I have a very strong dislike. I, I don't hate the the way that it makes me feel but i do have a very strong dislike for it because sometimes that looks super cool sometimes it really can make you question are these my true emotions and have they just been lying dormant or is this just something psycho related and i had to quickly let myself know like yeah girl it's it's psycho related you don't feel this way any other time um so it is definitely psycho related so hopefully nobody that um is a supporter of mine goes through that but if you do please get give, give it a couple a couple days wait until it gets a little closer to the end of your cycle and hopefully you feel better because oh, geez louise it is it takes you through a tizzy so this land does have a very nice spiritual aspect to it i do get a lot of wiccan like vibes to it but also like spiritual um vibes as well so this is a community so they do have um living you know rentals and things like that um as always when we do um come across a community if i come across a rental that is available i'll go ahead and pop in so we'll be able to get a look um i don't know if we'll be able to do that today this is a cute little castle very very cute so you guys I actually bit the bullet the bullet and i sent um the papers to my son's school letting them know that he will not be re-enrolling you guys and i'm going to start homeschooling this is something that i talked about a while ago um i'll put a card up um about wanting to homeschool my son and just the reason and why and things like that i was very I, it wasn't so much that I was apprehensive about it. I think it was just, it was a new idea. It's not something that I feel like I can't do, but it was something that I felt deserved um, a whole, whole lot of thought and just uh, understanding of this is something greater than just enrolling him in school you are now responsible um you are now responsible for his um education as well as his um development in all different types of areas but specifically with education you know i feel like i 
add a lot to him on a daily basis but i feel like knowing that um i'm gonna be teaching him and things like that it's exciting but it's also kind of scary um so i don't know if i'm going to do i'm just kind of all over the place walking around this is quite a large land um so i'm gonna walk around until i don't want to walk around no more that's that's normally what i does oh this is pretty let me get out of this chair so i don't know if i'm going to be doing content about this um about my journey my homeschooling journey i don't know i might um every now and then if i feel like it's something going on that maybe if it's anybody else who may be homeschooling their child or want to think about homeschooling their child might um, be interested in, then I'll probably do it. Like like I say a lot or I say to myself a lot at least, if I feel like um, it's going to add value, then I'm definitely interested in, um, in doing it. So that's that you guys. It's super pretty in here. So nice. So I was so nervous about just taking the paper up to my son's school. So I know if you are deciding or you're thinking about homeschooling your child, don't, don't, uh, don't read too much into it because there's a lot of people that have horror stories about just how the faculty behaved and all that. And I, I don't know, like I said, they, they, uh, hopefully they don't come out a bag on me, but if they do, I'll be prepared for it. But they seem very okay with it. So this is a really nice, large dance area. And they have all of these really pretty colorful, um, dance hoods over here. So if you guys, or when you guys come here, um, just know that if you want to, you know, cut a rug, you can cut a rug here. So yeah, they seemed very nice and very like understanding. It wasn't any type of pushback at all. Um, and so I was okay with that. I did um, let them know that I was going to want his records and stuff like that. And so they were like, all right, whatever, you know, not whatever, but they were like, yeah, that's fine. They weren't like tripping, like, no, you can't have his records. Like it wasn't anything like that. So all of the things that um, I had read about was none of the things that I had went through with the school. Like I said, I don't know if they're going to come out of bag on me later on. Hopefully they don't because um, I don't, I don't want that. You know, I don't, I don't even have a better reason for that. I just don't want it. I love this little suitcase. This is so funny because this whole setup is giving me like, you done messed up. Because why you out here with some liquor and your suitcases and some books? It's a, a nice little long journey that you probably weren't completely prepared for, prepared for. So I love this little mailbox. Things here are so pretty. It has a really nice forest vibe, very like springtime-y. I'm not in the shared environment um um the shared environment because it's it's 1 15 a.m on a sunday so the shared environment was quite dark so i saw a post that someone put up on facebook oh this is little horsey rezzer and they were talking about how firestorm was saying that they weren't gonna get rid of an update or like a viewer version i forgot what viewer version it was but it's like a later viewer version um, before like this major PBR update but they were like we're not going to get rid of the viewer but you're not going to have voice so huh so they're like we'll we'll let you guys who don't want to transition over to the newer viewer we'll let you still use and download the older viewer but we're not going to give you voice I'm like, why does it kind of feel like a punishment for not wanting to transition over to the PBR viewers? I don't think that people who are not transitioning over to the PBR viewers are doing it because they are trying to just be completely defiant. I think that a huge reason why people are not switching over to the PBR viewer is because, um, it is a very large update and it is messing with a lot of viewers. I don't know if this land is brought to us by the Nature Collective, but it might be. I don't I don't know. So I'm just like, I feel like that's kind of like a punishment. It's like a lot it, there are a lot of people who have been complaining about the viewers since the very beginning. And so 
now I am very positive that it, this is a damn weed out process. It's like you're trying to, are these teleporters? No. So they have like little things that let you know how to get around and things like that. I feel like they are really trying to weed out like the people who have certain computers and things like that and like not wanting them to participate in Second Life. And I'm like, why? The people who have higher end computers is not like, oh, if you have a higher end computer to get on Second Life, then you're spending a ton of money in Second Life. That's absolutely not true. I am a prime example of that. I don't, I, I'm, a, I'm a weekend sale kind of gal. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be on nobody land. This looks like the residential area here. So I'm just going to kind of stay on path. Um, I... I do not spend a bunch of money in Second Life. I used to, I used to, but I am not that person any longer. So I feel like that's a very crazy thing to think if that is what they are thinking. I wanted really badly to um, believe that they were not trying to have like a weird weed out process of people but with them putting um, out that information like you can have the viewer like we'll give you a viewer well you'll be able to get on second life but it's not a pbr viewer and if this is indeed the viewer that you need in order for you to be able to get on and enjoy second life you can't voice i don't know what would be in the difficulty of still having uh, the capability to be able to voice on a older viewer. I don't know, but apparently there is some level of difficulty because they're like, no, you're not going to be able to voice. So I think that really sucks. And I think it's super unfair because in the past, um, if you if your computer did not work well with a certain viewer you had the option to use an older viewer and so they had multiple older viewers now i do understand look at this cat with the milk oh now i do understand that pbr is a very different um update and it has different qualities that perhaps they feel like you're not going to be able to get the full Second Life experience if you don't have the PBR viewer. I, d I don't know what the hell they're thinking. I promise you I don't. But what I do know is it is bad business, in my opinion, to weed out um, specific groups of people and make it as to where they cannot enjoy Second Life the way that they have enjoyed Second Life in the past. I definitely feel like this is something that feels like a money grab of sorts and considering the fact that Second Life has grown, grown to the size that it is because of the people, I don't feel like there should ever be a time where any group of people are excluded from Second Life unless they are doing illegal things. If no illegal activity is going on, I'm not I'm not understanding it. Who cares if someone uses a old now I, I don't know what goes into making these viewers. I don't know. But I do feel like there should have been some type of understanding that there will not always be everyone who has computers that will work with second life that little crabby just disappeared i wanted to get a zoom in on it and so i feel like those are things that should have been outlined and thought about before they done before they do updates like okay well everybody's not going to necessarily have the capabilities how pretty is that the little clam closing up everyone's not going to have the capability to move with the updates so it's, it's very much so given like you guys are going to get left behind. And I don't like that because there are a lot of people who are having issues with the viewer who have higher end computers, but they just don't want to put that much stress on their higher end computers. So hopefully, once again, I hope that they 
find a better way because I don't feel like this is a better way. I do not do a lot of voicing um, in Second Life, hardly any. However, I don't want that option to be taken away from me um, simply because my computer is not um, of a higher quality, I guess, when it comes to Second Life because there are computers that work very well um, in other or every other situation or every other dynamic except for in Second Life. So I don't know. I felt like that was really crappy and I really feel like that just cemented. I love those um, starfish. This really cemented um, my thinking that they are trying to weed out people. So I'm so excited about um, reaching the 500, 500 subscriber milestone. It feels so good and like such a great accomplishment. And I really feel like, you know, we did the damn thing and we're doing the damn thing. My second life content, I just, I know I've said this in other videos. I really like this, but I just, I did not think that people would be receptive of it. I didn't. Um, the Second Life content that I have seen on YouTube is um, more or less, in my opinion, like a lot of day in the life and about a lot of like role playing and things like that. And although this is um, role playing of sorts, like they role play with like children and the different jobs that they have and then they'll take you guys around like shopping centers and things like that and that's those are the things that they enjoy now although those are things that well some of the things that i do um as well it's not necessarily something that i want to do a video on this is a really nice overview and so I've seen those videos and I'm just like, okay, well, I'm not doing that. So I don't know if people are going to be receptive of it. I don't know if people are going to be interested in just like going around and touring these places with me. But you guys are. And I'm so, I'm so grateful and thankful and just so appreciative. And I feel so lucky just to have um the wonderful group of supporters that i do you guys are absolutely amazing i've been talking for a little bit i don't know if i talked about it or not but i am um we're getting so close so fast my cycle really set things back for me i had wanted to put a poll out um a little bit ago earlier in the week and it just did not work out so i am currently working on that hopefully that'll be up like in a couple of days so that we can start trying to figure out a name for us if we hit the 500 mark before um i come up with a name then you know so be it because this will be going out a little bit later i wanted to do it around like the 570 mark but a lot of things were going on and i just didn't get um a chance to and so we've gotten to this point so quickly um I'm just like, okay, I got to hurry up and do it because we are running out of time and I, I really don't want to get past the 500 mark, but I feel like if we do, then that will, that's what was supposed to happen. So we're just going to go with the flow because that's how I like to do things. So you guys have had an awesome time touring around Wild Moon community with you guys. Um, the landmark for this place will be in the description box below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.